Spencer, rebound Marshall. 13-10, Louisville lead. Oh, what a find. Clark to Warnock. Clark looking to shake free. Clark, step back three. He's good. Here's Clark, guarded by Robinson. Clark firing again. Following the Caitlin Clark scandal, Diana Taurasi discusses the WNBA's new reality. Diana Taurasi, a player with the Phoenix Mercury, recently discussed her thoughts on the evolving nature of WNBA fan base. She specifically brought attention to the sensitivity of more recent fans in reaction to her remarks regarding upcoming rookies, such as Caitlin Clark. The seasoned player, who is renowned for her candor and frequently incisive observations, voiced her frustration with the league's shifting fan response patterns. Before the Mercury left for training camp at San Diego State on Sunday, Taurasi said to a gathering of reporters in Phoenix, Yeah, you know, the new fans are really sensitive these days, as reported by Cassandra Negley of Yahoo Sports. You are unable to speak. Following a period of increased WNBA attention brought on by well-publicized rookie debuts like Caitlin Clark's, Taurasi made her remarks. Social media users were quick to take notice of the statement and debated the nature of fan interaction as well as the demands made of athletes to be careful with their language. As a 20-year league veteran, Taurasi has established a reputation for her unrepentant, frequently caustic communication style in addition to her basketball skills. The controversy stems from Taurasi's previous remarks on ESPN's The Bird and Taurasi Show, in which she made scathing observations about the realities facing rookie players in the WNBA without mentioning Clark by name. Some fans, especially those who were unfamiliar with the league, misunderstood her remarks and took them to be a direct jab at Clark. Diana Taurasi is a very experienced speaker. Taurasi first gained national attention as a star player at UConn, where she won three straight national titles and was twice voted National Player of the Year. Clark, 22, wasn't even alive at that time. Even more remarkable are Taurasi's achievements with the Mercury, who selected her first overall in 2004. She has been named to the All-WNBA team 14 times, won Rookie of the Year in 2004, is a three-time WNBA champion, and was the MVP of the finals twice. In 14 of her 19 seasons, she was on the MVP vote, she placed in the top three five times and took home one championship. She won MVP in 2009 and is still the only guard to hold that distinction. During a 42-point game at the Footprint Center in Phoenix in August, Taurasi became the first player in the history of the WNBA to achieve more than 10,000 points in the regular season. In 2017, she broke Tina Thompson's previous record of 7,488 points to establish a new scoring record for the league. As one of the most important and outstanding players in WNBA history, Taurasi was honored on the league's 15th, 20th, and 25th anniversaries. The six-time USA Basketball Female Athlete of the Year has participated in every Olympic gold medal winning Team USA roster. She's a candidate for the Olympic squad in Paris in 2024, which wants to win the gold for a record seven times. Taurasi may overtake Bird by becoming the first athlete to win six gold medals at the Olympics. Taurasi defended her stance in the face of criticism, emphasizing that her earlier remarks were generic and meant to set reasonable expectations for rookies making the switch from college to the professional ranks. Her candor has frequently sparked conversations within the league, demonstrating her commitment to candid and occasionally direct communication. For her part, Clark has not reacted to Taurasi's remarks in public. Clark has previously stated, I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary, people are just competitive. It seems like it's something rookies have dealt with throughout the WNBA's entire history and throughout their careers. Easily passing it over to 6'5 Boston. Clark gets a clean look. And knocks.